Thank you. Thank you for giving me the floor. I'm uh, really honored to participate to this event, and I would like to, <coughs> first of all, to thank the group uh, Ephesus, led by Costas Tirikadas, who are inviting us for this uh, event. And uh, as I said before, uh, I was the former Minister of Environment of Madagascar, but now I'm in charge of the transport and uh, meteorology. So, as you may already know, Madagascar is the fourth biggest island in the world and considered as one of the 70 countries with uh, mega diverse in the world with vast number of different endemic species. As a me mega diverse island, we are extremely sensitive to the global warming issue. The agriculture, the inf infrastructure, the social life, the biodiversity, the mega diversity are all affected by climate changes in particular and weather change in general. You know, when I was the Minister of Environment in Madagascar, I represented my country at the Climate Summit COP21. It has been an honor to be part of what we can define today as the first universal climate agreement. It was a great experience. We worked hard, day and night, to get what we call today the Paris Agreement. The agreement may not be perfect, the terms may not be ambitious enough in some respects, but there is one thing we can count on for sure, and this is an undeniable fact. We were right to think about our future together. Our destiny is linked. The destiny of each and every country in this world is linked, and economic concerns will not change that. That's why today, even as a Minister of Transport and Meteorology, environmental and climate issues have never completely left me. Such an experience marks you for life. That's why we are looking for a very ambitious partnerships today. Partnerships that integrate global vision, designed to be implemented over the long term, and most of all, designed for all future generations. I'm convinced that every branch of activity have nowadays the duty to take this variable into account, especially in a country located like Madagascar, where meteorological and climate origin risks are high. In the transport sector in particular, I believe that all infrastructure renewals or construction project must unconditionally incorporate this variable. That's the reason why I'm very pleased to be here today. Globally, SDSN aims to accelerate joint learning and promote integrated approaches. That is exactly what my country needs to emerge. Therefore, I'm convinced that we know how to address the interconnected economic, social, and environmental challenges confronting the world. That would be the most important legacy that we have to leave to our children. Thank you for listening.